Hi, this is Steve James. I'm going to go through how I sculpt a head using ZBrush Core. We're going to start off by creating a base. Into that base, we'll sculpt the eyes, the nose and the ear, the mouth, then we'll sculpt the hair, and finally color our character using poly paint. To start out, I'd like to explain a tool that I'll use all throughout these videos. It's called DynaMesh, and it's one thing that makes ZBrush so special. Let me turn on the wireframe, and you can see that this sphere is composed of a mesh. Now watch as I take my Move tool and pull the mesh. Notice how the part that I've pulled is way more stretched out than the rest of the sphere. I'll use DynaMesh to fix this stretched out part. Hold down Control and drag a rectangle to the side of your model. Notice how ZBrush has recalculated and now our sphere has even spacing again. I'll be using this a lot while I'm sculpting. You don't really need to worry about the underlying mesh. Just know that when you use DynaMesh, ZBrush has taken care of the spacing for you. This is the model we're going to create in this first video. Just like in working with clay, you start with the big shapes and then you focus on the details. We'll start with the default DynaMesh Sphere. This will be the head. Select the Move brush and hit S on your keyboard to change the size to a very large brush. Pull the sphere into the shape of a skull. Narrow on the sides. Since this is going to be a female, make the jaw a little more narrow at the bottom. To make the eye socket, select the Inflate brush. Use the S key to change the size of the brush. Hold down Alt to make the inflate brush push in. Use the smooth brush by holding down Shift. Smooth out the sides and the bottom. Turn your model to the side and select the Move brush. Pull the eye socket back just a little and we'll smooth the brow out. Now we'll make the mouth cavity. Hold down Control and draw out an oval mask where the mouth will go. While holding down Control, tap on the canvas to invert the mask. Resize the brush and select the Inflate brush. Hold down the Alt key and push in a cavity for the mouth. Hold down the Control key and drag a rectangle outside of your model. This will clear the mask. If you do it again, it will DynaMesh the model. Hold down the Shift key and smooth out the mouth. Select Inflate and we'll just make the cavity a little bit bigger. I'll close the mouth just a little. Select the Move brush and pull the top lip down and the bottom lip up. Now we'll construct the body. Turn your sphere to where you see the bottom of the head. Draw a circle at the bottom of the head. This is where we'll extract the neck. Hold down Control and tap on the canvas to invert the mask. Select the Move brush, click S to resize, and pull the neck from the bottom of the head. Use the Move brush to shape it like you want. When you're ready, control drag off of your model and do it again to DynaMesh the mesh. Hold down Shift and smooth it all out. Hold down Control and mask the bottom of the neck. Invert the mask by holding Control and tapping on the canvas. Then select the Move brush and pull the body out from the neck. You notice the geometry gets a little rough, but it's okay because we're just going to DynaMesh and smooth the object. The body's looking a little thin. Select the Inflate brush and add some volume to the body. Then we'll use the Move brush to pull the body into shape. Now 
Next, mask out an ear shape on the side of the head. Hold down Control and tap the canvas to invert the mask. We're going to use the rotation tool to pull out the ear like a hinge. Tap R on your keyboard and draw out a line starting at the base of the ear. Grab the last yellow dot in the circle and pull down. This should extract the ear like a hinge. It looks like it wasn't perfect, but it'll do. Dynamesh the object and pull the ear into shape. It doesn't need to be just right. We're going to come back and work on that later. For the nose, hold down Control and draw a mask in a line where the nose would be. Control tap on the canvas to invert the mask. Then select the move brush and pull the nose from the head. Use the move brush to pull it around and dynamesh as needed. At this point you can move around the major features to get a good feel of your character before you start in with the detailed sculpting. I'll use the move brush to pull the mouth out slightly and move the eye sockets around. I'll smooth and dynamesh the object as needed. I'll bring the shoulders down and reshape the neck. I'll use the inflate brush to give a little bit more volume to the shoulders. And to wrap up the base mesh, I'll narrow the head slightly, pull out the chin, and fix the ear.